Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my hair, my favorite hair care products, my current hair care routine, and my curling routine. I've had some requests to do a how I curl my hair video, so I am incorporating that in today's video. I'm also super excited to be collaborating with lookfantastic.com for today's video. They graciously gifted me with a few products of my choice to try for this video, and I am just super excited to be working with them. Look Fantastic is Europe's number one beauty boutique, and they have made their way to the US. They have a lot of really amazing brands like Alterna, Living Proof, Kerastase, T3, Olaplex, and many more. They are constantly working on adding new brands to their website for us to shop. Not only is shipping fast and free, but they gave me a discount code to share with you guys. The discount code is Casey 20 and that gets you 20% off of your purchase. Exclusions do apply. So the products that I decided to give a try are the Olaplex Number no. 4 Bond Maintenance Shampoo and Conditioner, as well as the number seven bonding oil. I've been wanting to try Olaplex for the longest time. I hear amazing things about their products and they definitely did not disappoint. This has been my current everyday shampoo and conditioner. When I say every day, I mean every two to three days because I only wash my hair every two to three days. I am a dry shampoo kind of girl, but this is an amazing daily shampoo and conditioner. It's very hydrating. It makes my hair super soft and smooth. It's super manageable. I love my hair straight and curly when I use this shampoo and conditioner. Olaplex as a whole works to rebuild the broken bonds of your hair by repairing, protecting, and strengthening the hair itself. I am super happy with this. I have fine hair, but I have a lot of it. It's very dense. And this hydrates and moisturizes my hair without weighing it down and making it greasy. And it just makes it super soft and shiny and it looks super healthy. So I am absolutely in love with this shampoo and conditioner as well as the bonding oil. I live and breathe by hair hair oils. I love hair oils. This one is really great. I also like the delivery system. Most hair oils have a pump. This has a dropper, but what's great about the dropper is you can turn it upside down or if it rolls off your counter, it will not drip and spill all over the place. So you turn it over and you shake a couple drops into your hand. The oil itself is very, very nice. It's a very like fine and thin oil. It's not heavy at all. So it's perfect for you girls with fine hair. It's perfect for all hair types though. It does such a good job of coating your ends and your hair and making it look super healthy and shiny and hydrated without weighing it down and being too heavy. So I really have been enjoying this oil. I've been wanting to try it for a long time. Don't be deceived by the bottle either. It's a full ounce, but you only need about five little drops. So this bottle is going to last a very, very long time. So if you been looking to try the Olaplex products or if you've been curious about them, now's your chance to try them out. Enter in my code Casey 20 at checkout and you'll receive 20% off your order. I want to go ahead and move on to my hair care routine and how I curl my hair. So I obviously first started by washing my hair using the Olaplex bond maintenance shampoos and conditioners. When I get out of the shower, I use a hair towel to wrap and semi dry my hair. I got this towel. It's the after spa towel. I got it in my FabFitFun box a while back and it literally changed my life. I did not use a hair towel before that and now I cannot be without this. So you just put your hair in it, twist it, and pin it up. It's a game changer. I don't have to worry about my towel falling off my head. It soaks a lot of the excess water out of my hair before I decide to put product in it and start styling. The first thing that I put in my hair before I start brushing is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Treatment. It's my holy grail detangler and leave-in conditioner. I cannot be without this. I have tried over the years only once not using this and it was an absolute disaster and I quickly repurchased. I can't even tell you how many bottles of these I've gone through, but it is a game changer for me and an absolute holy grail must have. I can't be without it. Um, my hair is super fine and it gets tangly really easily and that just helps me brush through my hair so much better. I also use the Bumble and Bumble BB Hair Dressers Invisible Oil uh, Heat Protectant Primer. Gosh, that's a long name, but <laughs> that's what it is. So I, I, I spray both of them before I brush my hair. I love the way that this smells and I love that it's an easy heat protectant and it's um, an extra kind of conditioning product that I just really enjoy using. I've tried using this alone 
I can't use it alone. I have to use the It's a 10 every single time, but this is an amazing spray to protect my hair from heat and any excess damage. To brush out my hair, I use a wet brush. I also feel like this is a game changer. It is so nice to use on my hair. My hair is able to be brushed out a lot easier when it's wet. I also like using this for my daughter, Lainey. She has very fine curly hair, and this works much better for her hair. There's less breakage when I use this, and it's just a lot easier. I also use it to brush out my hair in the mornings and the evenings when my hair is dry. Um, it's just a really good detangling brush. I really enjoy using the wet brush. After my hair is brushed out, I use a hair serum, and this is the Aveda Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair. I also got this in a FabFitFun box, and I'm obsessed. I'm almost out of this. I'm actually almost out of a lot of my hair care. I run out of everything at the same time just because I use them on a regular basis, and I use them all together every time I do my hair, but this is fantastic. I love a lot of damage repair type products. I like a lot of hydrating products, repairing products, because I do heat style my hair my hair is color treated and I use a lot of dry shampoo on a regular basis I brush my hair a lot so I really try to use products that I know are gonna help be nourishing and repairing for my hair so if you haven't tried this Aveda damage remedy repair it is amazing it's so so good next step in my hair care routine is the Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil I love hair oils I can't not use a hair oil. I like to use a hair oil when my hair is wet before I heat style and then I like to use a little bit after my hair is done too or on second date hair just to keep my ends nice and revitalized and hydrated and it just it, it, it's great for hiding split ends and dry ends. I like to let all of my products soak in and set in my hair for a minute um, after applying them before I start to blow dry. I also like to wait until my hair is about 50% dry to go in with a blow dryer because my hair is so thick. If I, if I go in right away after I shower, it literally takes me forever. So if I can save time and save extra time with heat on my hair, um, I'm definitely going to jump at that opportunity. But the blow dryer that I use to rough blow dry my hair, um, when I'm curling my hair, I just do a rough blow dry. Um, I use the Elkham 3900 Healthy Iconic Blow Dryer. I've had this for a few years. It is really great. It's very smoothing. It blow dries my hair super quick. And I don't notice a lot of damage either when I use this. So um, I like to rough blow dry with that before starting my curling. My absolute favorite tool to use to curl my hair is the T3 World Trio, specifically with the one inch barrel. For the length that my hair is now, the one inch is my favorite. When I do have really long hair, I will go to the one and a half inch, but I have had this curling wand, I wanna say about three years, and it's still works beautifully. I absolutely love it. And it's the only tool that I've ever found that gives my hair or leaves my hair with a bend the next day. My hair is pretty heavy and it literally takes a miracle to keep my hair curled after sleeping on it. And I still have a bend in my hair when I use that curling wand. Before I begin curling my hair, I love to use the Way Memory Mist. They have recently changed the name. It's now the Way Heat Protectant. It's the same exact formula. They just, for some reason, decided to change the name. So if you're looking for this product, make sure you type in Heat Protectant or Heat Protector. Um, but this is awesome for extending the curl in your hair. So I just roughly spray this all over. I kind of just roughly section my hair and spray it throughout and let that sit for, you know, 30 seconds to a minute because sometimes it can be not wet, but it just has like a little bit of tack to it and then it dries down all the way. I do curl my hair in sections. I curl my hair in like four to five different sections depending on the day, but it's the only way that I can efficiently and effectively curl my hair and it gives me the just best overall look. So I start first with the first section and I split my hair into like four smaller sections and I just curl them each away from the face. After I'm done curling each section of my hair, I do like to give a little spritz of hairspray. My favorite hairspray to use is the Way Texturizing Hairspray. I've also tried the Volumizing, but the texture is definitely my favorite. It's such a light mist and a light spray that holds your hair, gives it some pieciness and some texture with out being too heavy or sticky. I do the same to the second section of my hair. I curl each piece away from my face. I don't really care too much about 
you know how defined those curls all are I just want to get them curled you can't really see them it's just the bottom base layer of what the curls are going to look like and I try to spend more time defining the curls on the top layers the third section of my hair is where I start to rotate my curls so the first sections framing my face I will curl towards my face I don't do a lot of section of pieces of my hair going towards my face I just throw in a couple it really does make a really big difference if you curl your hair all the same direction it's all going to end up looking like one giant wave so it's important to pick a few different pieces that you're going to curl towards your face throughout your hair just to give your hair some definition and some texture when i get to the top section of my hair i go ahead and part my hair to the way that i want it i always wear a side part and then the side where my hair is parted towards i do split that into two sections it just looks so much better that way instead of trying to curl it as one section the curls are much more defined and PC looking if I split that section up the top section of my hair the hair that you see the most I usually pick one little piece um, in the center somewhere to curl towards my face like I said I only pick a few pieces throughout my whole head of hair to curl towards my face. I don't like too many going towards my face. I just like a few because like I said, it does create a more PC and textured beachy look and that's what I'm going for. After my hair is curled, I do like to let the curls cool for a few minutes. Typically what I do is I curl my hair, then I put my makeup on and my hair is able to cool while I do my makeup. And then when my makeup is done, that's when I brush through my hair. Now I know some people like to use a comb or a brush to brush through their curls. I just finger comb my hair. I think that um, just because of my hair type, if I use a brush, it just really relaxes my curls a little too much. So I like to finger comb my hair, um, shake out my curls. I don't do it too much. I just kind of roughly brush through them to loosen up the curls so that they're not so tight. After I finger comb my hair, I use the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. I just kind of tilt my head to the side, give it a little spritz from underneath, pick up a few pieces and spray. I don't use too much because this product can be too heavy and sticky if you use too much. So I use a few light little mists throughout my hair and it literally pumps up the volume. I have repurchased this bottle multiple times. It is a product that I have all the time in my collection. I don't use this on my hair when my hair is straight. I only use it on my hair when it's curly. Um, it just adds a lot of texture, a lot of volume, and it does act sort of as a hairspray as well. I feel like it helps hold my curls a lot more as well. And that is my curling routine. When I'm not chatting through it and when I'm not filming a video, I can get my hair curled in like 10 to 12 minutes. Um, I have definitely gotten really fast with it over the years. I, I really don't like to spend a ton of time on my hair. I swear by this routine. It's the routine that I do every single time that I curl my hair. And I have been working for years to find the perfect routine for me. And this is it. So I really hope that you enjoyed it. I quickly want to go over some other hair care favorites that I don't necessarily necessarily use every day but that I do incorporate into my routine. I want to mention a few extra shampoos and conditioners that I use and what I use them for. Since I have color treated hair I do get balayage in my hair and I get it pretty heavy. I use the Amika Bust Your Brass Purple Shampoo and Conditioner. For the longest time I only used the shampoo but I've started using the conditioner and I don't know what took me so long. Um, this does a great job of toning my hair to a really nice color without over drying some purple shampoos can be pretty drying and I don't find that these are and I just really love how quickly it tones my hair and the shade and the tone that it actually turns to when I use it another shampoo that I use maybe every two to three weeks is the living proof perfect hair day triple detox shampoo this is a charcoal scrub type shampoo and I use this because I use a lot of product on my hair. I heat style my hair a lot and I use a ton of dry shampoo. So I do get a lot of buildup in my hair. This just really brings my hair back to life. It gets my scalp squeaky clean. I notice that I have a lot more natural volume after I use this and I don't know what it is about it but I feel like my color even looks better um, when I use this. So um, this is a really cool product. Um, I got it off of a recommendation from a friend because she always raves about it and I mean she was not lying this is a great product um, if you have a lot of buildup in your hair you use a lot of products um, you feel like your hair just needs a little 
bit of life back put into it, um, that's a really good shampoo. My favorite mask or deep conditioner is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair. I have purchased this so many times. Um, I'm actually curious to try the shampoo version of this, but this is awesome. I don't use this every day. I use this maybe once every two weeks. I like to use it if I'm using my Triple Detox shampoo. Um, I also like to use it as a mask if I'm using my purple shampoo, so I usually use it around those times or like if I've been to the beach or the pool or something like that and my hair just needs a little bit more moisture. Um, but this is a fantastic um, hair mask and deep conditioner. The dry shampoo that I use is the Batiste dry shampoo. I've used this for years. Um, you know, I do get curious about other dry shampoos, but I just know that this works for me. It's super easy for me to get and it's very affordable. So um, I use the Batiste dry shampoo, go through so many bottles of that. Then I also recently started using a dry conditioner, well, a few months back started using a dry conditioner, and it's the Dry Bar Detox Dry Conditioner. This is awesome if you don't wash your hair for days at a time. You know when you use a dry shampoo, your hair can look a little dusty, a little dingy, a little powdery. This like is like a setting spray for your hair. Setting spray for your makeup gets rid of that powdery look. This dry conditioner gets rid of that powdery look. It adds shine, it just cuts that powder out of your hair. It's not a wet spray, it's, it's very interesting, but I love it because it is such a good compliment to dry shampoo. It doesn't weigh your hair down, but I spray it probably from the ears down and it just makes my hair shiny again. It looks super soft. Um, and it just doesn't make it look dirty. So I, um, I've really been enjoying that. I'm almost out of this as well, so I'm gonna need to repurchase that soon. But that is it for my favorite hair care products, my hair care routine, and my curling routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.